A disturbing and gruesome sight behind the Lillian Vernon warehouse. A three-day-old baby girl stiffened by rigor mortis. A custodian found the baby in a white plastic bag on a hanger next to a locker in the coat room. He thought it was old food or trash to be thrown out. Uh, was taking it to the dumpster. I guess he suddenly remembered there was a bomb threat earlier and looked in the bag to be sure there was, was something, or there wasn't something there that uh, was going to hurt anyone. And when he did, he found the, uh, found the body. He dropped it where he stood, outside near the dumpster, where he was about to throw it. Employees had been complaining of a stench in the locker room. Miriam Jakovic says the bag's been there since Wednesday. What, it smelled. Wrong? Really? And um, it was it was a smell. You, a, it, you associated it with, like, somebody's lunch that had been in there a few days or something like that. But to know now, you know what I mean, what it is. It's and upsetting. It's very upsetting. This is the locker area where the custodian found the baby, more specifically this taped off area that you see behind me. The job now for police is to interview some 4,000 employees that have been here over the last 24 hours, asking them all kinds of things like who's been sick, who's been pregnant, anything that may help them find who left the baby here. Police hope additional clues will help as well. The baby itself was wrapped in a red uh, golf style shirt, uh, size small, uh, the name brand was Colors. It has an emblem on the left-hand side, and the words on that emblem are uh, champion athletic and sports.